Okay, so I've come to the allotment this evening. Yeah, I generally come after uh, after six o'clock because I uh, I work nine to five. So I've uh, I've come to the plot, and all I'm going to be doing today is weeding, watering, weeding, watering, weeding, watering. Did I say weeding? Yeah. Uh, so literally just weeding and watering, and uh, making sure that the slugs don't win the battle. So uh, that's the activity for today. It has been raining constantly the last couple of days in the evening, especially so I've not been able to come in the evenings. Um, so today is going to be exactly that. Keep watching and I'll uh, get to it. Okay, so in terms of plant care, obviously you've got my tomatoes. I just want to quickly talk to you about one particular thing with um, growing tomatoes, which quite uh, recently I found out. Now here you can see down the middle here, this is my main tomato okay, stem and you've got the shoots coming off here and the shoots coming off there and then it carries on here and you've got the, um, the main shoots coming off here. Now what I've realised and I've learned is to continue it going upwards what you need to do is occasionally get some shoots coming off here. You need to get rid of these shoots because what that does is that stops the, the sh um, it stops the nutrients going across to these which you're going to have to trust and carrying up so any of these little shoots on here like here I can see another shoot on here that's actually gone quite big I'm going to just break that off okay so you want to get rid of all these little side shoots uh, I've done the same on all of these uh, so I'm going to make sure there's no side shoots that way all that happens is this continues going straight 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 up get rid of that side shoot straight up you've got one there comes up here carries on going straight up here, straight up here, straight up here. You don't want to have any side shoots at all because all they will do is just suck the nutrients away. Okay, so this is going to be a, uh, a very quick update of the plot. I've just come to, uh, to water my tomatoes but I thought I'd give you a quick update today. Okay, you can see we're starting on bed number four because I'm stood over here. Here you can see the onions that I've put in are slowly slowly starting to uh, to make a bit of a bulb there so I'm uh, I'm quite pleased at the onions there okay let's carry on going further down I've got my peas that I've put in here now this is the second lot of peas here on on this side uh, and this is my first lot of peas however you can see on the first lot of peas I've managed to get a lot of weeds I'm going to do a bit of weeding today okay and then here I have my running beans. I've got a couple of varieties. In the middle, really, it's one variety, uh, and that's that. So I'm pretty pleased at uh, the way the running beans are starting to actually. Uh, you can see them climbing there in the middle of the stream up the. Uh, up them. Okay, and then we're going to come over here to bed number three. I'm pretty pleased to say, uh, at closest to us are actually our uh, cauliflowers. Now again you can see the bed's got a fair bit of uh, weeds today so all I'm going to do is start off on that side weeding of that bed today I'll come back and do this best way. The cauliflower here are doing quite well okay and then we've got the cabbage just on that side again the cabbage are the first vegetable that I actually ended up putting in the ground and you can see the cabbage are doing quite well uh, you can see that one started to form in the middle there and it's uh, slowly but surely doing well I think I am getting attacked a fair bit by some uh, some slugs but I'll be putting some more pellets down today. So that's uh, bed number three, okay, and then we're going to go over to bed number two and this is the one where I've got some swede over here, again the swede is starting to take some shape there again you can see the weeds have come through, I had a few days of just rain, 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 all I've done is come and water the plant, nothing else and the carrots, there we go, here's the carrots that I uh, did put in and the carrots are quite uh, doing quite well I've got to be honest the carrots are starting to get some uh, some decent lengths on them I'm hoping that it's not just the top of the carrots it's, it's underneath as well okay and here's my turnips my turnips I've got to be honest I think are doing very very well I've been weeding 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 and keeping these guys uh, quite well here's one of my uh, turnips that you can see just there it's, it's doing quite well and if you go to that side there's another one just there so uh, as far as I can see the turnips are doing quite well uh, no real complaints about the turnips okay we've got the potato bed we won't go and walk around the potato bed the potato bed is the potato bed okay so if you go around that's the spare bed that I had over here 
uh, what I did was I put some well let's quickly go and show you spare bed over here so looking at it I had onions going along here and I put a row of lettuce and then I put a row of um, carrots just in the middle it's slowly coming out and this is like my spare bed and I had some spare turnips as well so I put some turnips all the way along there so that's that bed it's this little bit that I'm uh, still clearing up okay and this little section is what you're used to seeing it was a complete mess okay so that back was a complete mess that's a spare bed bits and bobs that's going to be cleared and this is where I've put um, put my squash here squash starting to climb there so hopefully they'll be climbing vertically and I may make some kind of trellis that goes along there that's obviously uh, a marrow or a courgette not 100% sure which uh, and these are my broad beans here and a couple of spare runner beans that I bought as well so the the runner beans uh, are here and they are slowly slowly starting to climb okay and the broad beans I'm quite pleased to say I've, uh, I've climbed up and uh, they're starting to flower up and everything the exciting thing is this thing here this baby's uh, started to uh, to flower so I'm pretty pleased at that hopefully uh, we'll get something decent there and these guys are starting to climb that's that's the uh, the one squash that I know for sure and then these guys are uh, as you can see they're starting to climb up there and even the one back there is starting to climb so uh... okay so I'm hoping that you can see I've uh, I've done a great job today weeding got between all of the onions give them a bit of a a hoeing between the onions after getting rid of all the weeds there you know along the lines there straight up there I've hold all along there all along there and then that way as well so you can see all the weeds have gone along there similar with the peas I've got two lines of peas there now you can actually see the lines there was loads and loads of weeds just along there you saw earlier on taking all them weeds out along here and again similar with the runner beans here this was all full of weeds this is all full of weeds I've taken out all the weeds along there so all the weeds are uh, hopefully gone on that side and going back on this side as well now there was a whole lot of weeds on there so all I've done is I've taken off all of the weeds on here hold up the, uh, the soil and made it kind of loose hopefully so that nothing will grow on there okay so that's what I've done that's my uh, plan okay so that's bed number four now moving on to bed number three as you can see it's full of weeds I'm gonna come tomorrow and uh, hopefully I'm going to split the bed into, into half and I'm hoping to tackle half the bed so if I do half I'll be pleased so that'll be an achievement for me it, it's, not, it's not too bad you can see some parts they've got no weeds but then again the problem is some of this have got loads and loads of weeds so that's it for, uh, for that particular bed Really quick video today. Um, one of the things that people don't tell you when you have an allotment is you can come and spend half the time watering the plants. Luckily, the heavens have opened up and we've had loads and loads of rain. But the problem with that is, I have a greenhouse, nobody waters the greenhouse. I'm still thinking of some kind of um, watering system that I can have so that uh, I don't need to come to the plot every day just in case I can't come or anything like that. So what have I done today? Uh, I've cleared out this particular plot uh, next time I come I'll be doing the next plot I've had a good walk around the uh, plot I um, my runner beans in the back there I've made sure they're sort of like climbing up the uh, the cane some of them were climbing up the cane so I've just directed them in there so it's been a good day today I think I've done all the boring jobs watering weeding but it's one of them things hope you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up like and share um, the audio I don't know how good the audio is gonna be and it's a quick one that I've taken so uh, I'll speak to you soon thanks a lot bye bye